Greetings and salutations to all my Nicely News companions out there. Hello, hello. Today is Friday, November 4th, 2022. My name is Lenny Hernandez, and we've got a brisk and breezy episode in store for you today as we take a look at all of the autumn festivities. Yes, like Humpty Dumpty, Aero communities have been having a great fall. We're going to be checking out all the outings and events that they have been putting on to celebrate the season. And of course, you should be prepared to be spooked because we are going to be looking at all the amazing Halloween celebrations as well. I cannot wait to see what people have been wearing their costumes because Halloween is so fun. Oh, uh, let's get right to it. Welcome to Aero Nicely News. Our first story of the day is all about Aero Fall Festivals. Yes, Aero communities had a myriad of ways to celebrate the arrival of autumn, as communities decorated the interiors with beautiful flowers, pumpkins, and brilliant reds and oranges. They made delicious food that invoked the flavors and smells of fall. They even got ready for, and then watched, some football. They painted pumpkins, carved pumpkins, bold pumpkins, just generally abused pumpkins for their own amusement. Stop it, Emma! I see you out there destroying pumpkins. I kid, I kid, you're doing great. Keep it up. Yes, Aero communities had an absolute blast welcoming the cooler weather and leaves changing all over. And we hope that you embrace the season as well with the same gusto. I, on the other hand, don't like when it gets cold. Ooh, but our communities didn't just welcome the season within their own walls. Nope, nope, nope. They got out and about in the brisk air to fully enjoy the season. Residents threw on their jackets and went to pumpkin patches, farms, wineries, and some even took to the skies. The fall season brings a completely new feel to the world around us as the sun has moved to a different position in the sky. All of the plants have shifted their color palette to something new and exciting and different than the summer. Even the air smells just a little bit different as it cools. It's a completely new experience. Just, you know, walking out your door and the residents just are gonna go out and enjoy every minute of it. So be sure to get outside and get a taste of fall before the snow comes, folks, because it's, it's close and it'll be well worth your time. I think we should check out our Halloween celebrations next, right, huh? Because let me tell you, our communities did Halloween right. Communities threw parties, made spooky food and treats, and of course, dressed up for the occasion while welcoming young ones into their home for some trick-or-treating. Trunk or treats, outdoor tables for kids to approach, door-to-door -door hallway trick-or-treating. If there was a way to do trick-or-treating, our communities pulled it off spectacularly. Residents had a wonderful time handing out treats to their grandkids, children of the employees, neighborhood children, and anyone really who wanted to stop by and get something delicious or chocolatey or sweet. Mm -mm -mm. And believe it or not, the kids, they had a blast as well. Everyone looked absolutely amazing in their costumes and a spooky fun time was had by literally, you know, everyone. 
I mean it, seriously. Not one person had a bad time this Halloween. And uh, I checked. You can take that to the bank. Cha-ching! We hope that your Halloween was spooky and scary, but most of all, fun and safe. Well, everybody, that will do it for this episode of Arrow Nicely News. I know, I know that's really the scariest thing of all, isn't it? That this episode's over. But don't you wail and howl too much because we will be back next week with more delightful and decidedly less spooky stories from Arrow Senior Living Communities. But until then, for Arrow Nicely News, I'm Lenny Hernandez. Have a wonderful weekend, an even better week, and we will see you all next Friday. Ha 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 